How's it going guys? Welcome to a PlayStation 4 news update video. Sony finally revealed more information on its two next-gen consoles, uh, the PS5, PlayStation 5, the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition. So uh, various games were shown off, the price of the console as well as launch information. However, with the current pandemic, release dates for games may change. Um, I expect the console to still release November 12th, both consoles. Um, PS4, I'm not talking about Xbox, that comes out. November 10th, but I could maybe see some game releases being delayed, possibly, but who knows, maybe they won't be delayed. Anyway, let's get into it. Um, I also want to point out that uh, all PS5 games should work on a PS5 Digital Edition. Um, if you download, obviously physical won't work, but if you download from the PlayStation Store, they should all work, as long as they're intended for PlayStation 5. It's the same, I was going to say the same hardware. Um... But, you know, like, the GPU is the same. It's not like the Xbox Series S is less powerful than the Xbox Series X. Anyway, just wanted to throw that out there. To start, the live stream presentation showed off a CGI cinematic trailer from Square Enix. And it, it looked really good. You know, Final Fantasy. Uh, I do. I'm a fan of... I'm not, like, a big Final Fantasy fan. But I still consider myself a Final Fantasy fan. I prefer Final Fantasy over Pokemon. Um, yeah, so... That's right. This is a Final Fantasy game. Final Fantasy 16 was announced. Um, I, it will release on PlayStation 5 in 2021 as a current. We don't know if it's going to come to other platforms um, at this time. I don't believe it said exclusive, if I remember correctly. Uh, you can, I'm sure you guys will correct me if I'm wrong. Sonic Man, you're an idiot. It is PS5 exclusive. Hey, if it is, it is. But if, I'm thinking it probably will be at least timed exclusive, like Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Um, but I think I could see it coming to PC eventually, possibly Xbox, Nintendo Switch, maybe, I don't know, Google Stadia, <laughs> I'm just kidding. The next game shown was Spider-Man Miles Morale, it's a sequel to uh, Marvel Spider-Man on PS4, this time it allows the player to play as Miles Morale, um, and this will launch later this year, um, I, I believe uh, that's supposed to launch the same day the PS5 launches, but don't quote me on that. A brand new Harry Potter spinoff game was revealed. It was it will be called The Legacy of Hogwarts. It currently has a release window for the next for next year on PS5. The game will likely be announced for other platforms like Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, as well as PC and hopefully Nintendo Switch at a later date. I don't know. I Switch would probably be less likely, but not saying it won't come to Switch. But, uh, yeah. Another game was Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Um, this game will feature a brand new single-player campaign with the usual combat-style first-person shooter. Um, there is one cool thing in the trailer that I thought was kind of cool. And that was the the player could drive a military RC car to help defeat enemies. I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, I know in Black Ops 2, I think, there was a similar RC car. Um, yeah. I'm not a big fan of Black Ops 2. I don't dislike the game. No, it's a fine game. I'm, just, I'm not really a big fan of Call of Duty, of COD in general. I do like Modern Warfare 1 and 2. First Black Ops was pretty good. And even though Black Ops 2 wasn't great, it was not, It was a fine game, though. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Black Ops Cold War launches later this year for PS5. Uh, and then the e Xbox Series X and S and PC. Or can I just say Xbox? I'm just, I think for the rest of the video, I'm just going to say Xbox. Uh, makes it a little easier, but I'll be referring to Series X and S. In addition to a new COD, Capcom showed fans a new trailer for the next Resident Evil title, Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil Seven Village, um, with the Roman numeral uh, part of Village uh, stylized. Is the next game in the series? It is a sequel to Resident Evil Seven. Or I'm, excuse me, I made a mistake. Resident Evil Village is basically Resident Evil Eight. I know Capcom director doesn't. Like, even in the trailer, it still had the Roman numerals in Village. Literally, it was in the word Village. Uh, so, Resident Evil 8, that's what I meant to say. It's the sequel to Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, and features one of the main characters from 7, uh, Ethan, the character you play as. Chris Redfield also makes a return, and this time, fans may be expecting him to be a good guy. No, well, maybe you didn't expect him to be a good guy, because I think it was kind of revealed. That he's going to be with Umbrella, so he's probably not the good guy. 
I haven't played Resident Evil 6, um, but I, I played a bunch of the Resident Evil games, but I haven't played Resident Evil 6 before. But I believe something happens in there that um, causes him to change sides. We'll just say that. Uh, so Resident Evil Village will come out next year on PS5, Xbox, and PC. And Nintendo Switch. No, no, probably not Nintendo Switch. Uh, maybe their next-gen console, whatever Nintendo's doing. The next game was Deathloop. It is a first-person shooter launching next spring. This will be releasing for PS5 as well as PC. Uh, back to Capcom. They are re-releasing uh, fighting game Devil May Cry 5. Uh, this is the special edition. It will be available when the PS5 console launches. It will likely also come out for Xbox and PC. Next up was Oddworld Soulstorm. This will launch later this year. Players will be able to play it on PS4, PS5, and Xbox. One other game was shown, um, and this is uh, this is a brand new entry in the horror series. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach will be the title. Um, so this is the new game in the Night, Night, Five Nights at Freddy's is what I meant to say. This will be launching on the PS5. Uh, now we have Demon Souls. It's a game similar to Dark Souls from From Software, so the same developers. Note that this is not a remake launch. In, Excuse me. Note that this is a remake launch and for PS5. I believe it is exclusive, or at least timed exclusive. The trailer listed the game to also release on PC and other consoles. Yeah, it is PS5 exclusive, at least right now. Uh, yeah, so they did accidentally say it's coming to PC and other consoles. This was a mistake, and Sony has clarified it is not coming to other platforms. Uh, now, two years from now, who knows, but as of right now, it's only on PS5. And I believe, uh, yeah, I have this, check out the sources in the description. Um, one of the sources you'll find that, uh, Kotaku, I think this was, I got this from the Kotaku, uh, interview, I believe. Um, yeah, but so, um, Dark Souls, or excuse me, Demon Souls will be launching on PS5. Additionally, Epic Games, Fortnite, will be launching on PS5 at launch. If it is like the PS4 version, PlayStation Plus will, will likely will not be required. Just like, you know, on other platforms, like uh, on the Switch, Nintendo Switch Online is not required. Xbox Live, I don't believe, is also required for the Xbox 360, or Xbox 360. What am I talking about? Xbox One version, I should say. The final PS4 game shown was Ragnarok. The, um, and this releases in 2021. 2021. 2021? 2021? 2021 sounds better. Since PlayStation Plus was recently mentioned, uh two games earlier with Fortnite. The service will be getting a new benefit exclusively for PS5 owners. PS4 digital games will be free to play for subscribers. So, I mean, you pay the subscription, but after that, it's free. It's not like you pay an additional charge, an uh, additional price. What is not known is if a PS4 physical Blu-ray um, will play if inserted into the PS5. I'm assuming it probably won't, but I don't want to actually say this is exclusive. I, I mean, I did say exclusive. The Bennett, okay, Th okay, yeah, this is exclusive to PlayStation Plus, but I don't want to go out of my way. I don't want to go say, like, oh, yeah, it's guaranteed that the PS5 game won't. The PS4 game, physical, Blu-ray, will not work on the PS5. I don't know, but it doesn't sound like it will. All right, and finally, what everyone has been waiting for, the, here is the launch and price. Sony released, finally released their release date and price for both PS5 and PS5 Digital Edition. Now, I'm going to be covering uh, North America and Europe, so U.S., Canada, and Europe. The PS5 will cost $499 U.S. dollars or $629 Canadian dollars for, and uh, in Europe, that would be $499 pound. Or excuse me, that's the U.K. $499 Euro, $499 Euro. And the PS5 Digital Edition will be $399 U.S. dollars, $499 dollars and 99 cents for some reason i put 88 cents by accident so 4.99 in canada and 3.59 uh in europe pre-orders are available now and both consoles will launch on november 12th in north america and for the rest of the world november 19th so let me know what you guys think um i do need to hurry this up because the nintendo direct mini is starting in like three or four minutes yeah let me know what you guys think um Probably should make a separate video on how the pre-orders are going. I hear there's, yeah, they're all, uh, most of them are sold out. I think I saw, like, a Canadian retailer, or, well, like, this morning had it in stock, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's not in stock anymore. 
yeah, so uh, let me know what you guys think on the PS5 for PS5 Digital Edition. What are you gonna get this? Or are you gonna wait a while? Or are you gonna get uh, what games are you looking for? Let me know what you guys think. Anyway, that's gonna be it. I will see you guys in the next video.